Hi, Tamela Facentino Hill here doing another installment for my Adagio Tees. I'm really bad at this camera, so I'm hoping that you can see everything. Anyways, I have done another weight loss tee, and it's the Parker Puree Weight Loss Kick. One thing about Adagio Tees is that they allow you to um, put your own little pictures on there, and that's my son in his lacrosse get up, and uh, he rocks. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that this blend here has 40% puree Tahiti tea, 20% white tropics tea, and 40% fruit medley tea with pineapple accents and raspberry pieces. Now, with that being said, puree tea is a excellent tea for weight loss. When you have eaten a fatty meal and you want to flush the fat, Drink this an hour after you um, have a fatty meal, and it is supposed to flush your fat away. Not your fat, but the fatty meal. Don't call me a doctor. Don't complain that this is not happening for you. But this is the research that I have done, and I am a research queen. So I just wanted to let you know that um, this blend is supposed to help with weight loss. I hope that it tastes good and I hope that it does work for you. If it doesn't, let me know. It doesn't matter. Um, I have done my research and that's what I have come to find out. I'm going to show you the blend right now. And again, I'm awful with this camera, so please forgive me. But, oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, this is the blend. Now, take a look at this. One teaspoon per eight ounces is supposed to be able to be steeped two times. So this is one teaspoon, probably, if not a little bit more. I have used this already, and they come in three-ounce bags. I know there's another tea company out there that is amazing, and I do love them, but they have artificial candied pieces. This is not candied pieces. This is dehydrated fruit, so it's all natural. I'm talking, look at the chunks of this. Amazing. The rose hips. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and give you the ingredients and more while I hold this right up to the camera. I'm start, slowly starting to get better at this. But it's blended with puree tea, rose hips, white tea, hibiscus flowers, apple pieces, dried coconut, natural coconut flavor, marigold flowers, natural strawberry flavor, strawberries, mango pieces, orange peels, papaya flavor, rose petals, natural pineapple flavor, natural wild cherry flavor, and lemongrass. So that's what you're getting in this blend, which is... Oh, it just smells so good. <laughs> and it's pretty. I mean, even if you didn't like the tea, put it in a thing for potpourri. Nobody's going to know the difference. Okay. So, as in a little bit of a taste test, I always love to put my little tea in a pretty presentation. And this is a little bit of a wine glass here. And as you can see, it's got a, um, it's, it looks just like tea. It's basically tea flavored, tea or tea colored, sorry. Most of the other teas, when you um, have looked at them, they've got a blush color or they have a pink color. This one is pretty much looking like tea. Now, when you use a loose leaf pitcher, which is what you're supposed to do, you put the teaspoon or two or three, depending on how much you're, you're going to make, in your tea pitcher, you pour the boiling water over the top of it, and it expands. So if you can imagine, I mean, literally, what these pieces turn into, that's a chunk. And there's like four or five of them on there. And you can tell that they're moist because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six mango or apple pieces on there that are all stuck together. They expand. The flavor bursts through, and when you pour it over ice, it is even better. It's I keep using the word pop, but that's exactly what happens. It pops. So with this tea, I smell the coconut. I smell the orange. 
the puree I do smell. And believe me, I have to let you know that the puree tea is a very kind of strong tea. I did not in a million years think that I would like it because I'm not a caffeine kind of girl at all. I don't like caffeine. Um, I don't like coffee or anything like that. But I have come to find out that that tea is, the taste is incredible. It tastes so good. Can't tell you that I know what papaya tastes like, but I, I taste something and smell something in this that I, it's got to be it because I have, I have tasted this before I came through and I think that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and, and do a taste test now, but those are just the smells. Believe it, <laughs> believe it or not, I really do like the hibiscus flavor, and I do taste that because I've had that in a couple of my blends. It's just a florally accent that's not perfumey, but it's just a it's just a hint of the tropics, and it's not the co coconut, it's not a pineapple, it's just a mm, smells so good and tastes so good. Strawberries definitely in this, and. Cherries. I taste the cherries. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. Again, I'm a novice at this, so you're going to have to forgive me. But um, taste it for yourself. But I've given you all the ingredients. I've given you all the lore. And I have given you um, just the look of the tea alone. So even if you don't like it, use it as potpourri or put it in your bath because you can put it in a piece of pantyhose, put it in your bath. It'll Tea is great for your skin, so you can absolutely use it for your skin and make your bath smell good. Either way, salut, and I hope you've enjoyed.